when I think of, I mean, my my curiosity about space or domestic space has always been sort of rooted in building material or architecture. Um, early work, I was really just kind of interested in the kind of innate materiality of sheetrock, of tile, of siding, you know, building and manipulating sculpture in a way where these materials were doing things that they weren't designed to do, um, kind of exposing an inherent fragility even in our built world is really interesting to me. Um, and so with these works, with the combination of the drywall with the sort of soft inner domestic material, I'm, I'm interested in sort of curating an interior space, you know, in those like three or four inches, trying to find something that reflects materials that we recognize and understand as, you know, my grandmother's couch had that afghan on it, or these sorts of things, these sort of kind of memories of stuff um, and sort of pairing them together in a way that, that the work is in, a, in the best case sort of indicative of an experience or a memory of a space versus just things in a space. You know, I think this past year, I mean, I was just like, you're at home and like, there was just like stuff being ordered. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or like I just I just really became fascinated with the fact that like I make stuff like it's a thing It's not an experience. It's it's you know, even art itself Like what is my relationship to the product that I'm making? Buying lots of things the obsession we have with our homes and interior design and all of this stuff and I was just like What a challenge it would be to take this stuff this material that is you know in and of itself something that is just a thing and to sort of try to curate an experience or with the layering of those materials turn it into something that evokes a memory or an emotion or something that sort of feels familiar and feels about space but isn't you know a pillow or a couch or a blanket or a paint color that sort of thing really responding to material with this whole body of work and Historically, I use a lot of tile, I use a lot of drywall, was building installations to talk about space and architecture. Um, and in the past few years, the work has gotten more about sort of domestic spaces. And I've been making the fabric paintings for a long, long time, but in their original state, they were really more about abstraction and just form and just sort of exploration. Um, but I had this language of, of textiles, and so then I started exploring things like upholstery and different fabrics and different clothing and all of this sort of really tactile kind of interior material that we find in homes that, that felt different than the drywall but still related to the drywall. And um, when I think of creature comforts, I think of comfort and I think of home. And I think of that experience in this past year when we're all stuck in home, it was sort of really an exploration of, of all that stuff. But there is a plant component that comes into um, some of the work more overtly in past works where there's sort of plants and moss kind of bleeding through tile. Um, there's a piece in this show that has some moss in it. Um, and a lot of these forms, these shapes are kind of inspired by dying plant matter or the inference of like a wilted flower um, and I just felt like this year was such a year where impermanence was everywhere and it just felt so tangible and then I also you know that sort of environmental aspect and its connection to the way we build like a lot of those tile works um, with plants sort of busting through the form or sort of altering the architecture are really sort of a comment about the environmental impact on space and just the sort of impermanent and sort of ephemeral kind of nature of what we humans put out into the world and how even sort of steadfast and strong material at some point is going to, you know, meet its match. And, and in those works, I let it be sort of nature or a natural element like plants. Yeah. <laughs> There is, the, it, it was, I mean, it's, an, it's a labor piece in and of its design, right? Like the, the circle in and of itself is um, a less natural 
form, especially when it comes to building material. I mean, you're not supposed to make anything round. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but, <laughs> but, you know, there's a billion layers in that piece. And I think it was just in that moment with that piece, it was just, you know, and then this thing and, you know, like this wallpaper, this tile, this form, I really wanted it to be such a like intense kind of stacking of choices, interior choices. Um, it's an, and that's an older work and that, that work was really sort of describing kind of our, our current obsession with like home ownership and design and the sort of labor we put into those spaces and and to what end you know I've done several several pieces like that where the drywall is sort of in and of itself or a, a particular shape or maybe it's a pillar or some sort of freestanding sculpture that sort of thing um, and that piece in a, I mean, it feels very much an object in its own right, you know? Um, I mean, a lot of the, the, I feel like I have my hand in a lot of different sort of bodies of work and they're all connected, but they all have sort of their own languages. And, and that one is, is really a bridge between this sort of drywall representation and the, the sculptural work that sort of moves into freestanding sculpture and then also installation pieces. Mm -hmm. The frames function on sort of a multitude of levels. So like in some of the newer works with the drywall, oh not the drywall, the velvet and the sort of simpler kind of compositions, um, the framing is, I mean, I painted the frames as well. So like a lot of it is about color choice in some of these works. And the frame was an opportunity for me to sort of extend that color story and provide another kind of material layer that I found really interesting with the velvet. I mean, the velvet is so reflective. Um, and so that, that sort of sheen with the sort of matte of the paint with the sort of added layer of the hard frame, like it was a tension that I felt needed to exist around that kind of pillowy fabric. Um, so I really like the contrast that they bring in those pieces um, and the color sort of story that they bring in those pieces. The, Antique frames in the show are really a nod to the sort of domestic space and history that is, is in a lot of my work and the sort of vanity that's in a lot of this work. A lot of, like some of the work is in oval vanity frames. Um, a lot of these frames I find and they're in mirrors and I'm really interested in terms of um, how we build our homes and our spaces in relationship to our own identities. I think where we live is such a, there's such a personal connection to those spaces and those frames in such a domestic space, but also with that sort of material is really interesting to me. Also, you know, when I think of some of the frames in the show, I think of either mirrors or, you know, historical painting, you know, what's in it should not be in it in, you know, a typical sense and that sort of switch is interesting to me that sort of tension between a contemporary landscape with sort of contemporary materials but also vintage materials and these frames like I like the mashup of our kind of domestic lives in space and that's how I like to build spaces too like I like when a space reflects an experience of a human versus a design magazine. The past year is probably affecting us all in ways that we probably won't begin to fully understand until later down the road. Um, that's been my experience in the past before when something sort of life-changing happens. It takes a while to kind of process and understand how it's really affecting you. Um, I was really fortunate through the whole time to be able to work um, in my studio but also work remotely and teach remotely and all these sorts of things but I I did have this you know when the, when this sort of thing happens you feel um, just sort of like well what do I do to help what do I do to make it better like what is my place 
in all of this thing? Like, what is it about this thing that is important or that um, means anything in this time? So this past year was a lot of working through and making and continuing to make. Um, and ultimately just a representation of that, of that search for things that feel um, uh, comfortable or beautiful, you know, and, and just like a push, a push to sort of keep making and keep doing that. Think about the sort of creative cohort that I have around me and when I think about artists that I admire and people that I really respect and, and work that I watch, like, I, I mean, they're where I looked when all of this was happening, you know? Like, the creative community and artists in themselves are people who, in this moment, take it upon themselves to, to do the work, be it their artwork, be it social justice initiatives, be it, you know, finding resources for people in this pandemic time. Like the way that I saw this community sort of come together where I'm at and then globally too, like it just sort of, in a lot of ways, I think re, you know, just reiterated or, or confirmed, you know, why artists are so important and why I'm grateful to, to be a part of that community.